What up everybody, it's BMC Beats coming at you with another tutorial. Not really a tutorial, but I'm here to talk about the complete keyboard, the 49 key. And I got contact five with it. I knew that the software didn't integrate well with Fruity Loops. It works well with Logic, Ableton, all those other programs, but for some reason they're slacking on the FL. So, which kind of sucks, but we'll just run with it it does have some capabilities which i'll show you guys in a second the reason i got it for the most part was the scale feature where you can pull up any type of scale that you want and uh, it will light up on the keyboard <clears throat> so that way you don't have to keep looking at the your DAW for uh, instructions on which keys are in your scale so let's dive right in i'm gonna show you guys how to set up the controller how to pull up the scale feature in fl studio there's nothing on the screen when you load it up to fruity loops there's no features, you can't do anything. But I'm gonna show you the sauce right now. With the scaling feature, what it allows you to do is, say you're in uh, C major, C minor, these lights will only light up that scale so you know which notes to press and which to stay away from. I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta do inside of Fruity Loops. So what you gotta do is open up a complete control, which is this right here. Over here, these, these light up. And uh, now, once you have that loaded up, you can hit shift and edit scale. And then this will come up. And then all you gotta do is hit this blue button and you can cycle through the scales. The possibilities are endless with this, really. You can pull up any scale that you want. So for example, we'll go like uh, minor, Okay, we'll go F minor. And now, as you can see on the keyboard, it, the, the root note will light up the brightest and then everything else will be dull. But this, as you can see, this key isn't lit up. This key's not lit up. This key's not lit up. These ones are though, right? Let me pull up an instrument just so you guys can hear what I'm doing. Okay, so root note. And what this allows you to do is if you know the rule about skipping notes inside of a, a scale to make a chord, you can automatically just start skipping notes. So this one, skip this one. I'm only skipping the notes that have the lights on, right? This one has no light, so we're not including it. So I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna skip this one. This one's not lit up, neither is this one. So I'm gonna go skip this one, go to this one. Here's your F minor. And you can do this with your other chords. Right there, you got a progression already. This wasn't a tutorial, it was more to show you guys what complete and contact can do inside of Fruity Loops. To me, that's the feature that sold me. I'm sure it will sell you guys too. To me, it was enough for me to go ahead and buy it. Obviously, the biggest issue is that you can't actually load up the contact instruments on the screen. There's no way you can do that. Until they update it and switch it up, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Just as another example, they also have modes that you can use. They got a bunch of different banks here of scales. They have modes, they got main, which is your major, harmonic minor, your blue scale, Japanese scale. And then they got modes, which I've been using a lot lately. And what that is, is your Phrygian scale, your Dorian scale, Lydian, Mixolydian. I've been using Lydian a lot lately. Once you got it all set up, make sure you click this blue button. Cause right now all, all the keys are lit up. Once I click the blue button, You'll see some of them turned off. So now I know, okay, this is my root. And those are all notes inside my scale. Thank you for watching. This has been another tutorial by BMC Beats. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe, share it. You know the drill. Thank you and peace.